Good evening everybody, I am the Nebogram, and I'd like to welcome you back to the completely unprecedented third episode of my Let's Play series. Uh, today I'm going to be taking on a arcade classic from my youth, it's a game I played quite a lot on my uh, Master System, and invariably sucked at it all the time, so God knows what it's going to be like today. It's a classic arcade game made by Atari, which is available on the um, Midway Arcade Treasures disc, which is what I'll be playing it on. Um, I'll leave you to speculate as to what it will be. I'll press on, or will be revealed soon. So yes, sir, please don't be fooled by the um, PlayStation 2 startup screen there. This is a uh, classic ar arcade game I'll be playing. Um, uh, yeah, I never bother with a memory card in these playbacks. I like to make everything pure. Just keep on pressing the buttons until I get to the start of the game, as you'll see. Uh, because for some reason it'll start me on easy mode. I've, I've played this game before. Um, yeah, here's another thing I've been going on about earlier. It's a cool um, company identification screen. It's, uh, Midway and Digital Eclipse there. Much better than it is nowadays. So yes, Midway Arcade Treasures. Um, in front of a reflecting pool in front of a pyramid on an alien world. Or, or it could be ancient Egypt. They, the ancient Egypt, Egyptians are really good at arcade games. They actually invented Breakout, believe it or not. Uh, it wasn't Steve Jobs. Though, though he, he is a descendant of Tutankhamun as well. None of the before mentioned facts were true. But yes, this disc has just got 24 games and all of which were amazing. There's, for this one, for example, one of the absolute greatest arcade games of all time. Um, this one, which actually is the greatest arcade game of all time. It's such a tragedy it was taken off Xbox Live Arcade. Um, yeah, Gauntless, another fantastic one, Rampage. But what I'm going to be playing is this one, Paperboy. The story of a paperboy who enjoys um, nothing more than delivering papers in what can only be described as a really unique way. As you can see here, controls are simple, steer, pedal, throw. That's all you need to know. Um, in the arcade, this was actually released with a bicycle handle controller, which, which is actually pretty cool. Um, wow, he's such a good paper boy, even though he's freaking he looks like he got red hair. I'm matched in his grim determination to deliver the news. Paperboy does daily battle with the forces of darkness and evil. What? Never mind. Anyway, you're playing on Easy Street, because as I said before, I just press all the buttons to get from um, one uh, screen to the next. So, Easy Street it is. It's Monday, let's get going. So yeah, what you do is you throw the papers to deliver them, and then immediately crash into a fire hydrant. That's an auspicious start to this Let's Play, isn't it? And yeah, you throw papers um, to deliver them. You score uh, points for getting them in the mailbox, and if you see a black house, that's a non-customer, so you score points for vandalising them. Um, yeah, you can even smack their kids in the face and they'll still pay you, it's amazing. Uh, and what the fuck was that I just hit? So yes, um, take care when crossing the road. It says there's a stop sign there, which is a bit ridiculous, because you can't stop. And you get additional points, by the way, for um, trying to get the uh, newspapers in the uh, mailboxes. Uh, that is particularly hard. Um, yeah, not too bad so far. Almost justifies the fact that the paper boy is actually on the front cover of the paper for reasons unknown. Uh, yep. Homeless bum there rolling around. And at the start of every level, for some reason, advertised with all the... Uh. Anyways, I was about to say, for some reason advertise on the road markers as a training course, and I could have sworn I went over that ramp. Clearly, um, not bad, not bad. One cancelled customer, One mi that, that's the miserable twat with the uh, Matryoshka doll on the front lawn. Yeah, as I say, the collision detection in 1984 really isn't what it was, and you don't lose lives on the um, training course either. So that's one good thing. So, off we go. Uh, no point breaking the window that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, just try and break all the other ones instead. Did that, that paper just land in the middle of a wall and not move anywhere? Uh, and that's that's a c convenient thing for that guy to do. Ah, take it again. Uh, that guy doing the road works, given that most paper boys operate between the hours of 7 and 8, that's a perfect time for him to be drilling out bits of road, don't you think? And... 
see what else we've got here. Yep, coming on nicely. Uh, missed, never mind. Oh, oh well. They got their paper a bit more directly than they would otherwise. Why has that person got a graveyard on the front lawn? Who the fuck lives there? Mark Calloway. Anyways, um, back to the training course. Let's see if I can get to the end of it this time. Yep, so good so far, so good. Uh, you obviously get bonus points for um, hitting the targets. Every time you go over a jump like... Well, it would have been like that, so your paper gets refilled. That's a hell of a resilient traffic cone, isn't it? Not to move when it when it encounters what I can only assume is like a 50 kilogram boy on a bike. Anyways, uh, moving on. I, I never got the hang of Wednesdays. For some reason, I, I only ever deal with idiots on Wednesdays. Uh, if you ever... If it... Oh. They, no, they have to walk a bit further for their paper. Boof, I can move. Uh, yeah, if you, if you ever um, feel the urge to be a customer on a Wednesday, simply don't. Oh, they well, they got their newspaper in their garage. I don't really see that they can complain. Oh, three in a row for the Matrosh Goodall. Fantastic. Uh, across safely, and that's an interesting self propelling tyre. And that's a cat that can go and eat its own shit. Moving on, and you see that the house numbers here, they count down. Um, so you start at 120, count down to 101, it lets you know how close to the end of the level you are. If you can be bothered to look at the house numbers at all. Woohoo! Um, and. Oh, yeah, you just cheer there, like. Pretend like you actually won that fight yourself and that it wasn't a spotty 14 year old oik on a bike who won it for you. Right, third time, look, let's get to the end of this. Yep, one more to go, and. Yes! Well, he must be a pretty good paper boy if he's got people out sitting out in bleachers holding up signs cheering for him. Maybe worth all those headlines. Maybe not. Oh, extra life there. You get extra lives every 15,000 points. I'm probably going to need as many as I can get. Um, there you go. Oh, oh, look, he did cancel because I had to walk a bit further for his newspaper. Did ums. Yeah, well, I actually wear glasses. They won't make any difference, mate. Um, yeah, there's that prick with the uh, jackhammer again. I always love that story I heard. Oh, yep, four in a row. I always love that story I heard once about uh, Paul Gascoigne, who apparently, um, one day whilst out in London, um, just saw someone out. Is that that same fucking cat again? They've not had it spayed yet. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, Paul Gascoigne, whilst in London, saw a guy on the jack camera, just walked up to him and demanded a go, and for some reason was given a go. Was... What? Let's say Paperboy's the terrorist breaking all these windows and other people laying explosives in the middle of all the, all the road. Where the hell is this freaking street? Afghanistan? Oh, that's an insensitive joke, isn't it? Um, moving on, let's see if we can get the end of this. Best two out of four. Yeah, perfect landing. In fact, any further and you've been in the crotch of that guy in this red shirt and the jeans. Uh, let's see how many people have decided to be Nancy's today. Three of them, okay. So that's left me with three deliveries on a street of 20 people. Whatever. Ah, it's Friday, as sung by, um... Zack Ryder at WrestleMania 27. Moving on. Um, well, the homeless bums made it all the way down to the um, end of the road. So he's like in five days. Um, and now he's digging up the pavement for reasons unknown. He doesn't actually seem to be filling it in. Uh, oh damn it, I ran out of papers, so I couldn't hit the Matryoshka doll thing. Uh, th these identical women in identical cars, have you ever heard of the speed limit? No, didn't think so. Right, uh, avoid the cat this time. Oh good lord, well, this, this is turning into a friggin' assault course. Right, no way I'm gonna get to the end of this level in one life. Okay. Yeah, you pretend like you win that fight again. Oh, well, you know, I did get to the end of the level with one life. Okay. Moving swiftly on, and... Crashing in... In mid-air, by the looks of things. Um, into whatever the hell they are. Spikes, I assume, they look more like shredded cabbage. Well, that's a lot of people who um, 
obviously don't read the news, though given that the paper is called The Sun, I can't blame them. How about the window? Um, yeah, I'm driving around those red, those brown things, because they are technically holes. They, they do look like a bit, a bit like where somebody just shot themselves in the middle of the road, Sometimes like Paperboy extremely just did. Why is there a smiley face on the side of that house? They do look a bit like where people shot themselves in the middle of the road, but they aren't. There they are, um, holes, and chances of me making it to the end alive are presumably not that good anymore. Why is it every time the paperboy crashes he has his bag on his head? That's pretty impressive and ridiculous and horrifying. Anyway, um, yep, entering the neb onto the arcade screen, and there we are. That's uh, Let's Play Episode 3 over and done with. I didn't quite get to the end of the week, uh, but I hope you uh, had f fun watching me being absolutely shit at the game. And I'll see you next time for episode 4, because uh, it looks like this is actually becoming a thing, doesn't it? Cheerio!